Anna, thank you. And the state Senate is sending a bill designed to save the Public Employees Insurance Agency from a financial crash by raising premiums for state workers to the governor's desk. Eyewitness News reporter Bob Aaron tells us senators today quickly approved some changes the House made in the bill impacting 230,000 people. The bill controlling how the Public Employees Insurance Agency is funded now goes to Governor Jim Justice for his consideration. It passed the Senate 26 to 6 after the House tweaked it over the weekend and removed a 10 percent penalty for public employees in border counties who went out of state for medical help. Under Senate Bill 268, employees and retired employees would have a cost sharing rate of 80 percent for the employer and 20 percent for the employees. The state has been kicking in more than 80 percent recently. Now some are looking at a 26 percent rate hike to restore 80-20. We're going to have a lot of families that are going to be facing uh, astronomical premium increases. Senators counter that PEIA, which covers 230,000 people, was headed for a financial crash. The bill alone saves the state in the neighborhood about $550 million alone in just the next four years. Uh, when you're looking at a six-year budget, we were getting into the tune of over a billion dollars. And, and the key is, is we got to make sure our employees are protected, but most importantly, we got to make sure that the plan is solvent. Labor organizations are counting that Governor Jim Justice promised them no premium increase while he was in office. From here, the bill heads to Governor Jim Justice's desk, where state employees will remember what he has said in the past. Uh, he has said numerous times, at least a half a dozen, that PEIE premiums would not increase on his watch, period, period. I think that's the quote that he uses. So uh, we're going to ask him to honor that commitment, to keep the promise. They want a veto, but lately Justice has said that PEIE has to be considered in the context of the pay raise and tax cuts public employees will get in other legislation now apparently linked to PEIA. The bill also raises compensation for hospitals, which had threatened to quit honoring PEIA. In Charleston, Bob Aaron, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Bob. And senators contend the tax cuts and $2,300 raised state workers are getting should offset the increased premiums.